Welcome to ESP SystemWise, the most powerful selection software for your commercial building needs. It's very easy to get to ESP SystemWise. You can go to your browser bar and just type ESP-SystemWise.com and it'll take you right to the landing page. If this is your first time using SystemWise, I'd suggest that you register your account. Registering your account and logging in has a few different benefits. First, it's easy to do. Um, if you just go to the login menu at the left and type login, you can create a new account if you have never logged in before by clicking on the need account line. In order to create an account, you just need to enter an email, which will become your username and generate a six character minimum password. It will also allow you to enter a few different things like personal information, company information, phone number, street, postal code. And then at the end, please select your relationship to Bell & Gossett, whether you're a construction company, facility owner, maintenance engineer, etc. That will help with your experience. And then you click sign up and you will get information on your new account and confirmation you should be able to log in very quickly. So let's log in. You will be author asked to authorize your account. Once you correct, hit the authorize button, it will help to save your information in your cookies. And typically, if you haven't completely deleted your, your browser settings, when you come back to ESP SystemWise, you'll be able to go directly in and it'll log you in automatically. Again, I just want to talk about a few of the features that come with login. There is a section here for saving some account preferences. You can see right in here where it says settings. You're able to save your unit of measure preferences along with your options for which particular columns on the pump selection screen you want to see. There are, is a lot of information in the pump selection screen, screen, but when you're doing your own personal screenings and filterings, you may not need to see everything. So by turning off some of the columns, it makes it a more compact view and a better user experience. Uh, you also, when you are logged in, you will be able to enter rep information, and this will create custom submittals for you. So as a logged in user, you'll be able to download submittals along with all the other documents that are available in SystemWise. If you don't log in, then you'll be forced to send a generic submittal to yourself by email. So it's just a convenient function. So now that we've updated our settings, let's talk about all the things that are on the main screen. Starting at the top, you can see that there are a lot of helpful links in SystemWise. SystemWise has links to information about Xylem, Bell & Gossett's parent company. So you can find information on other brands, Xylem News, even employment opportunities within Xylem. Right below that is a very important button. While working at SystemWise, if you have any questions about your pumping application, pump selection, availability, or pricing, and you aren't already acquainted with your Bell & Gossett representative, this is a quick way to find who to get in touch with. By following this link, you'll be able to search out all the contact information for your local Bell & Gossett representative. Below that is some handy links for Bell & Gossett. You can find information on other products. You can find the entire literature library off of bellandgossett.com and also training and education information about our world-famous Little Red Schoolhouse. 
So all of these helpful links will be easily accessible once you're logged into SystemWise. Let's talk about the menu for actually making selections. Now, on the left side of the screen, you'll see that there are a lot of different menu options here for doing your system selection and searching. Uh, we have different products, our pumps, accessories, drives. So you can choose a variety of different products that you want to research and select. Down below that, is the important feature of being able to generate schedules and projects. And again, if you're not logged in, you're only going to be able to create temporary schedules and projects, which will be lost as soon as you close out your browser. If you're logged in, you can save projects and schedules. So if you click on the projects menu, you have the opportunity to generate new projects. And the reason you would create projects is to better organize the pumps and accessories that you're saving uh, in your history to keep track of your selections. So you can see here I've just created some different projects, one for Chicago, one for, for Milwaukee, and one for Indianapolis. These projects will be come in handy later as I'm actually saving schedules. So if you look at the schedules, you can likewise create schedules. You can see that what I've done here is I've created schedules, one called airport, one called convention center, one called stadium, one called lakefront. These schedules can all be associated with projects. So it's easy to create a new schedule by clicking on a create schedule button and add a schedule name such as a hotel. Once we've created that schedule, we can add that to a project. Say we're working on a hotel that's in Indianapolis. We've now associated those two. So later, as we're making individual product selections, we can logically organize those into a particular schedule and then tie all those schedules to a project. Again, this is helpful in ensuring that you've organized all your work and it's easy to go back and find your selections. You can see here as an example, see, I've added a product to one of my schedules. You'll be able to see on another brief tutorial how to make pump selections, but for now, this pump has already been selected, and I have all the options to make edits to that selection, delete that selection, or even download documents associated with that selection. So once you've filled out the entire schedule for the Chicago Convention Center, you'll see all those products listed here. It's easy to add products to a schedule once you've selected them. You can also see along the left menu that we have Revit files. You can download the Revit installer and that will make it easy in the future to have access to all the Revit drawings for the Bell & Gossett products. But beyond this tutorial, you should never struggle to understand how to use the SystemWise software. There's a knowledge center built right into SystemWise that has a variety of different resources for you. There are frequently asked questions, more instructional guides on how to use SystemWise, and in fact there are even Bell & Gossett resources in system design, wastewater, and again more information on the Little Red Schoolhouse. So don't forget that the Knowledge Center is available. Another important feature to help you better understand system-wise are our information buttons. You can see throughout the application that we have information buttons to help you understand exactly what we're talking about. Not sure about which selection mode you want to use? Click on the information button and it explains in detail what the three selection modes are and what type of pumps you'll be able to select using those. 
Not sure about a product? Click on the information button. You can see here our E1510 product. Not only does it provide some product overview information, but there's a brief video summarizing the features and benefits of that product. Just going down further, you can see here, perhaps you're looking at your duty point selection. Not sure about how control head is determined and used? Click on the information button about control head. So system-wise is loaded with information so you can better understand different terms and how your selection criteria impact the overall selection. If you're still uncertain about something in system-wise, we have the benefit of a chat feature at the bottom. If you click on the red chat icon, you'll have an opportunity to start a conversation with our technical support team. There's also a quick link here to search out articles that may also help you with your question. So looking at all of those different options, I think we're ready to start making selections and system-wise.